Jerry Thompson here with a tutorial on how to batch resize photographs. The reason you're going to want to resize them is that if you are uploading them to a website or if you want to email them to somebody, you want a consistent smaller photo size. That way your load times are faster on your web page and you're not spending so much time uploading. The first thing I do is all the photographs that I want to upload to a given website I put into the same folder. In this case I've created a folder on my desktop called my C5 demo. I open it and you'll find the six pictures that I've already chosen. On my computer I've downloaded the program called Irfan View. That's I-R-F-A-N-V-I-E-W. You can download the program at irfanview.com. I will have it posted in the credits at the end of the video. To open with Irfan View, right click, open with Irfan View. Now you have the photo in Irfan View. To do the batch conversion, all I do is click File, Batch Conversion, slash Rename. I do Add All since I want everything in this folder to be resized. You can either do a conversion by itself, so just changing the size but not changing the name. You can do a batch rename, so changing the name but not the size, or you can do both. In this case, I'm going to select batch conversion rename results, which will change both the size and the name. Make sure you get the right format. You do have a number of choices here. I've always ever used JPEG. Make sure this box is checked. Click the advanced button. Check resize. Change the size to whatever you want. Normally I just change one dimension. As long as you have preserve aspect ratio checked, it will automatically modify the height to the proper dimension. Look over the other choices. Most of the time there's really no need to change them if you're just changing the width. And the width is more important than the length because usually the width is what is constrained on the web page. Say OK. In the name, every place you see a pound sign, that's a potential number. So if you have less than 999, then 3 pounds is plenty. I'm going to change the text. The C5 demo. I'm going to use the look in category. So this means I'm going to put the pictures right back into the same folder that I took them out of. And I'm going to do start batch. As you can see, it works quickly to change the batch size. When it's done running, check it for errors. Make sure there's no warnings. Typically there isn't. And then you say exit batch. Close this, return to your folder. In this case, you'll have six new named pictures that are all smaller than the other ones. So you can see here dimensions 800 by 533, and yet over here the original is 3456 by 2304. Thank you for watching this tutorial on batch changing photo sizes.